was living the street life. That's not the Sam I know at all. I know that I was at the bottom line bar. I'm gonna try and make this person look like an absolute monster. You tell me why your DNA was in my crime scene. Two lives lost in a brutal 2011 murder. The one thing that could not be explained adequately is how do you explain, Sam Williams, how your DNA on a cigarette butt got inside of a garage of a home you had never been to before? I have no explanation. I know I did not place that there. A jury disagreed. On July 27, 2012, Samuel Todd Williams was found guilty of killing Johnny Clark and Lisa Straub. We, the jury, having found Samuel Todd Williams guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. The couple was killed inside the Holland home of Lisa's parents on January 30th, 2011. I don't know what you guys are talking about. How did your DNA get in there then, Sam? I have no idea. A cigarette with Williams' DNA was found inside the house. And I hope that at some point, the family members, these two young people, will be able to remember Lisa and Johnny, and yet never remember you. He was sentenced to two life term with no chance of parole. He says he is innocent. Well, he was there hanging out with us, and it was all just chit chatting, you know? I've known Sam since he was a little kid. I know that I was at the bottom line bar watching the Provo with a few other people, which one was Destiny Madrid, the girl that got arrested on my case. Um, my cousin Larry Gilhouse was there. Eddie Flores um, was there. And Eddie's cousin Nick was there, according to multiple people who spoke with 11 investigates. My little cousin's birthday is January 31st. He turned 21. A record search shows that Flores' cousin did turn 21 in January 2011. Sam says he bought him a shot at midnight. He was with me that night. And it was a story that Madrid repeatedly sure. told detectives and confirmed to 11 investigates. But I know that night on January 31st, we were at the bottom line watching the football games with his cousin Larry Gilhouse and it was his cousin's 21st birthday. He was with me that night. Cameo, I don't know where Cameo was. That's At one point, Detective Jeff Kozak tells her of evidence they have uncovered. What if I tell you that you're not on the video at the bottom line on that night? What do you mean? Well, the bottom line has video. Right. So you or Sam are not on that video that night. Detectives did not have video. The bar had no video from that night. Phone records show that Williams called Madrid at 10.27 p.m. The call pinged off a cell tower near the bar. He said he called her as she was walking to the bar. And that bar is more than 20 miles to the site of the murder, 30 minutes by car. You call John. I called, yes. Tiffany Williams was on the phone with Johnny Clark at 10.41 when she said she overheard Clark yelling at two people before the call suddenly ended. All the hard evidence that we have. Captain Matt Lucky says he's comfortable with the conviction. The case that was made, the evidence that was collected, I think speaks for itself. But it's not that simple. There is almost no evidence at the scene against William or anyone except for the cigarette and several sets of unknown DNA. But what the prosecutors also had was the testimony of Eric Yingling, a jailhouse snitch. What Yingling said was that Sam Williams put himself right at the scene of the crime, and he also told him exactly how the murders were committed. But what Yingling said was completely known to the public before he talked to the police and to the jury. And 11 investigates has also learned that he was paid thousands of dollars 
after his testimony against Sam Williams. He did try to engage in conversation with me. So for me to say that he didn't would be me lying. He did. However, I did not have not one single conversation with him about anything. And when I say anything, I mean anything. Not the case, not my life. But Yingling told me a much different story during an hour long conversation. I couldn't get him to shut up. He was pouring it out. It was like I was a priest and he was in a confessional. Had I been a jury member on that jury, and had I not known the truth, I too probably would have believed Eric Dean Wayne. That's how convincing he came across. For the past 10 years, William's Aunt Mary has stood beside him, talking to him every single day. Sam has been very open with me about a lot of bad choices he's made in his life. And there's no reason for me to believe that he would ever lie to me. Sam didn't have anything to do with this. He wasn't there. He was at a bar on the east side. 